Hey, yo, pa. Where's my granny? You only live once, baby. You could chill 300 times and have a billion times and all that. But that's all in a lifetime. Hi. Welcome to What Does YOLO Mean To Me? My name is Gali. I play the role of Araba and I'm your host. Here on What Does YOLO Mean To Me? We get to meet you, the fans, to discuss what YOLO series really means to you as an individual, the impact it has on your life, as well as touch on a few adolescent sexual and reproductive health issues that were highlighted in the YOLO TV series. Remember, you can always enjoy a good life by sleeping in an insecticide-treated mosquito net to avoid malaria. Also, to enjoy a good life in this COVID-19 era, we have to be cautious to stay safe. Always wash your hands with soap and running water. Do not hug or shake hands. Use hand sanitizers. Avoid touching your mouth, nose and face. And ensure you maintain a physical distance of about two meters between you and others when in public. Avoid overcrowded places. Here with me are five individuals. They will introduce themselves and tell us why they love YOLO. My name is Naomi Adata. I'm 17 years old. I attend school at Osudo Kusinia High at Sominia. I like YOLO because it has helped me to know more about the sexual reproductive systems and it's also educative. I'm Sharon Asante. I'm a student of Accra Technical University. I like watching YOLO because it helps me abstain from sex and to avoid peer pressure. And the impact is that helped me to learn how to talk to guys and girls and how to work with them. My name is Beaches Mensa, a student of Accra Technical University. I'm 18 years. I love YOLO because it teaches me abstinence and I'm able to abstain from some immoral acts. My name is Nana Kwesi Idumafu. I'm 15 years old and currently I attend SOS EGS here at Tema. I like YOLO because it shows a lot of things that us youth can relate to in terms of sexual and reproductive health issues, peer pressure and changes. Some of the characters that I enjoy watching or learn lessons from is a crowd like Drogba. Drogba is modern day Casanova because he's like a womanizer, he moves to every girl he sees. But then, lesson that I've learned from Drogba is that you need to learn how to control yourself. It's not every girl that you must be sleeping with and also you must stay chased in life. So yeah, these are some of the lessons I've learned from watching YOLO. Timothy Ayi is my name, a graduate of National Film and Television Institute. I like watching YOLO because YOLO educates the youth on how to keep a very clean and healthy relationship. One of my favorite characters in YOLO is George. And I like George because he has this swift way of playing around, a little bit of gossip here and there, and it's just something I can really um, put my shoes in. I'm Maonya Esther, and a past student of Hohoi APC in high school. I'm a very big fan of YOLO. It has impacted a lot on my life, being it abstinence and then self empowerment Today we are going to talk about nutrition for adolescents, especially girls. Let's watch this scene from YOLO TV series to have a fair idea of what we are going to discuss. Anyways, have you eaten? No, some conflicts with me. Some balanced diet with me. The pocho, 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 the pocho. What is nutrition? Nutrition is when I take in good food, which helps repair worn out tissues in my body and also help build my body. Nutrition, as we all know, is the process of obtaining food for good health and good. Nutrition is the life process of taking in good food or a balanced diet for good health, good growth and development. Nutrition is a process of eating good food such as rice, beans, millets and etc. Nutrition is a process of obtaining the food for the necessary health and growth. Nutrition is the process of obtaining food which is necessary for good health and growth. Why is good nutrition important for all adolescents, especially girls? So good nutrition is important among all adolescents because that's the period where they develop in their body and system. Most importantly, between girls because they develop faster than boys. Good nutrition is important for adolescent girls because it nourishes their body. Good nutrition is good to adolescents because it helps us to gain energy and boost the immune system. Good nutrition, like I said earlier, it helps in development and Adolescent girls especially need it more because they develop faster than boys. I think good nutrition is important for adolescents, especially girls, because girls need most uh, or majority of the nutrients to develop more. I eat good food because as a lady, it helps in my physical formation. Yeah. 
Do you think adolescent girls have access to information about appropriate nutrition? If yes, where do they get the information? If not, how can they get access? I think it's yes. Yes, this is because in our modern society, there are electronic devices which help share information. My parents help me or teach me how to eat a good meal and prepare one too. Yes, adolescents get information from the websites, and on televisions. So adolescent girls who don't have information on good nutrition can access this information from the internet or speak to health professionals. I don't think girls here in Ghana have gotten access to important or appropriate uh, information about nutrition because I've not gotten anything like that myself. I think the appropriate authorities in the country should make this information available to all girls. So it's easier for adolescent girls to access information on good nutrition. Most adolescent girls have access to the internet. I think awareness should be created on good nutrition so that people are able to access this kind of information so that they can be generally aware of the benefits of good nutrition. Let's listen to what some youth in other parts of the country have to say about the topic. Hello guys, I'm in the person of Benda Ennis and I'm connecting all the way from Aush. Nutrition is when I get something into my belly and I'm full and I become strong just running to my friends for games and all that. Yo, adolescents, we must really take good nutrition because good nutrition helps the bones and the teeth. It really helps a lot. When we sit down well and analyze to take good nutrition, I bet you things will work out well. Now, on to our next discussion. What is anemia? Anemia is when an individual loses blood or has insufficient blood in their system. I'm not all that sure with the anemia, but I think anemia is when somebody lacks blood in the system. Anemia is a deficiency as a result of dysfunctional red blood cells in their body. Anemia is the condition in which um, a person has insufficient blood in their body. Back in school, I knew this girl who looked very pale, like we didn't know what was going on with her. She was just pale, just like that. So she had to visit the hospital and then her diagnosis was that she had anemia. That's how I learned about anemia. Anemia is when I lack blood in my body. Why are girls at a higher risk of becoming anemic compared to boys? Boys don't menstruate unless they cut themselves or something. But then girls do menstruate every month, so they are at a higher risk of losing more blood than guys. So girls are at a higher risk of getting anemia compared to boys because of their menstrual cycle and also when they are pregnant. Yeah, so those are the two factors. Every month, ladies menstruate and they lose a lot of blood. This is why they are at higher risk of becoming anemic than boys. Girls generally lose more blood due to their periods and that's why they have a higher risk of being anemic. Girls are at a higher risk of becoming anemic compared to boys because of their monthly flow. That is menstruation. Let's listen to what some youth in other parts of the country have to say about the topic. Hello guys, my name is Aji Ama Antoinette. I'm 19 years of age and I'm connecting from Ashine. Anemia is, is a situation where there is reduction of blood in the body. Generally, people who suffer from anemia are mostly ladies because guys really lose blood as a result of our, menstru our mental flow of blood as ladies. We shed blood a lot. What have you heard about the girls' iron folate tablet supplementation? The girls' iron folate tablet supplementation is the program when an individual or I myself lose a lot of blood and they give me iron to boost my immune system. I think it's an NGO initiative. Well, all I've heard is that it's a program that is done publicly to uh, give girls around the country free folic acid medications to boost their iron supply. I think it's a system where girls are given iron folate tablets to supplement the blood they lose during menstruation so that they don't become anemic. Some NGOs are giving girls some iron tablets to regain their blood after menstruation. I've heard that these iron folate tablets are given to girls to supplement the blood that they lose during their periods. I've heard that the girls' iron folic tablet supplementation, also known as folic acid, helps boost the immune system, gives blood, and is also an initiative of UNICEF. The girl iron folate tablet supplementation, I heard it way back in SHS, when there was this program that every girl was supposed to take it 
so that they may not lose iron in their system so that they can boost their immune system. So I learned from school that it boosts their system so that they won't lose iron in their blood. So they are supposed to take iron tablets. Can you mention some foods that are high in iron? Some foods that are rich in iron are plantain, beans and red beans. Green leafy vegetables, beans, millets, plantain, soya beans, uh, cereals and vegetables. We have red meat, but please don't eat it raw. It must be cooked or something. Yes. And I even heard of a bit from my mother that it also increases the iron level in our blood. We have cereals also. What are some of the benefits of folic acid to girls during menstruation? Folic acid boosts the production of red blood cells in a girl's body so that when they menstruate, it supplements the blood that they lose. Girls need folic acid to boost their immune system when menstruating. Folic acid helps to boost the uh, iron supply in the blood. So for example, myself, I do take folic acid after I menstruate to boost the iron supply in my blood so that I don't get anemia. I'm sure that folic acid boosts the iron level in their body since they menstruate a lot. So they need folic acid to boost the iron level in their body. I've also seen my sister take it a couple of times, but I now understand why she takes it. You've heard all that's been said. What are your thoughts? Send in your views and comments on these questions to our social media platforms or to the numbers on your screen. Don't forget, good nutrition is critical for all adolescents. Good nutrition boosts vitality, increases attention span, and increases resistance to infections. Good nutrition is essential to all adolescents because it increases physical fitness, athletic performances, and work productivity, and speeds up growth and development. Visit or download the GHS YMK app on Play Store or App Store for more information and to talk or chat with our counsellors online. You may also visit the nearest GHS Adolescent Health Corner or locate our facilities through the GHS YMK app. Who is next on What Does YOLO Mean To Me? Check this out. This is Brian. Join me next week for another edition of What Does YOLO Mean To Me? I've got a lot of interesting topics for you. I'll be talking about gender roles and empowerment. You can just imagine. Trust me, it's going to be fun. You don't want to miss out. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. It's been great coming your way. I hope we've all learned a few things. Also, to enjoy a good life in this COVID-19 era, we have to be cautious to stay safe. Always wash your hands with soap under running water. Do not hug or shake hands. Use hand sanitizers. Avoid touching your mouth, nose and face. And ensure you maintain a physical distance of about two meters between you and others when in public. Avoid overcrowded places. Make a date next week for another exciting episode. Remember to live a good life. Good life, live it well. Good life, it's an everyday thing. YOLO, you only live once.